back, YouTubers. We're playing This Is The Police. Uh, your police chief, I believe, that's retiring in 180 days. So we're going to jump right in and continue the adventure. We should be starting on uh, day five. Here we go. Day five it is. Retired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots pregnant woman. Wow. It, he explains that, that she was a suicide bomber. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. City has no problem with racists. Wow. Alright, <laughs> let's go. Why would a man need a barn to store all the stuff you can't bring home? About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn, especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack. I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jackie. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Alright. Help him, refuse help. Well, on a moral standpoint, that's a tough one. Because it's morally right not to help the bad guy, but... It's morally right not to let a family get killed. So, 
I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna help him out. Give him my phone number and tell him it's done. Don't call me. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice, cozy barn, Frank. At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride, even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kids' body parts. Right before the last hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. That sound right to you? That's the sound of the police! That's the sound of the beast! That's the sound of the police! Alright. Let's start the day. We're doing shift A. Let's do it. Jeez, I wish they had a bigger collection, like some Frank Sinatra or something like that. Can I play my own music? Pretty sure this is good enough. Some classics. Okay, no matter your personal relationship with the city administration, your police station is at your at their mercy. Okay, in order to maintain reasonable working conditions you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor I'm guessing we're gonna get some new stuff so let's look at affairs city hall decisions from city hall depends on whether they're satisfied with your work you can send requests every five days the fools in charge of the city may refuse outright or accept only some of your requests, so only ask what you really need. All right. Request expansion of staff access rules. I want the raise. Or. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's start the day. Let's respond. Every morning, there's a dirty, piss-soaked bum sleeping at the cafe. The man refuses to go away and growls at every, at anyone who approaches, scaring all the customers. I would do the new hire, but let's send Grant. These two out. Let's go. Nice a witness looked on from her window while an armed man with a stocking on his head entered a nearby liquor store. Alright. We're gonna get some big heavy hitters out there. Uh, should I have sent this swap? 311 Residential. A hot dog vendor reports that he saw two Elvis impersonators grappling right there on the sidewalk. They're swearing in Spanish and beating each other with the microphone stand. Alright. Come on, people. Oh, forgot. Okay. Tomorrow is the deadline. Salary. Boop, boop. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is just the salary. Thought this was the raise. Report. Escape. Ugh. What? Ah, oh, my team. Oh. 
Mike's music is very, very good. Like okay, the shop has two exits from which a few people have already fled. A robbery, sneak up in the back door into the store through the main entrance. Driver patrol car right through the front window. Sneak through the backyard. The stick up man knows the police presence and took the cashier hostage. He's holding his gun in the hostage's head, shouting back off or I'll blow his goddamn face off. Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling in an unknown language. Quit. You're gonna make things more complicated. You and the mask shut your face and drop the weapon and certainly take aim at the robber. Let's make things complicated. The robber grows nervous. Don't shoot, please. I just need money. I'll just take a little bit and go. No one was hurt. The cashier begins to cry. Shoot the robber. There's two ways out of the shop. In cuffs or in a body bag. I'll let you leave here upright, but only if you release the ho hostage. Ah, uh, these are the two good ones. Shoot. He escaped. That's bogus. Alright, let's see. Antique Chinese necklace was stolen. Well, she was away from the pond. I'm gonna send out Moser. We need to get us a little jewelry thief thing. Investigation. Uh, he hasn't made it yet. Jack, this year's organization. Golden Beast then suddenly changed the rules. The annual shooting contest is now features teams instead of single competitors. Can you send me two of your finest marksmen? I'd love to do well. All right. Good job in there. No, I don't want you in there. It's a hot one today. A lot of people are going to force one. Last week, four people drowned in the beach in Freeburg. The press was in an uproar. Police sent someone to keep an eye on things. Go, do your job. Please. All right, checking out the fight. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. What did B stand for again? I don't know. I don't remember. Sex operation. A gang of young people in ski masks forced their way in and began smashing the exhibit. What do you... <laughs> we don't need this shit in our city. Oh, this is all we got for now. All right, investigation has started. She was walking, I'm assuming she was walking away. I me and my husband got in a difficult financial situation and I was going to the pond, the antique necklace, which has been in the family for many centuries. As I was carrying the necklace, I found someone ripped the bag off my shoulder and disappeared. I didn't have time to do anything. Not even cry out. Okay, the officer was on a motorcycle he drove down the road grabbed oh the offender ah, can't read grabbed the bag and then escaped i tried to race after him but i didn't even have time to see if it was a man or a woman like that makes sense i couldn't see his face he was dressed in a jacket like those other bikers who hang around the street corners okay it was definitely not a local biker they were bald and had beards but this guy looked asian Chinese or Japanese well kind of makes sense because isn't it a like an Asian like jewelry store or it might just be her um, I didn't see a weapon in his hand I just saw him grab the bag right off okay that's pretty it's pretty simple wonder how my affairs are coming. Alright. Alright. We 
we want. That's awesome. Cool. Destruction of pro What's with all these people just escaping? I feel like I have like the worst crew. Alright, let's check out on the right. We got three additional frames. Open them based to Geisha. Let's do this. So. So. Mm. Hmm. Someone, I know someone said. I don't know. This is Asian. Is this the same guy? Yeah, orange bike. But who's he? He's the bald guy. With the beard they were talking about. I don't know. I guess the investigation is still going to continue. A guard went out for a smoke and saw teenagers extracting the hallway of a building. Chased the brats up a tree. You can take it from here. Ugh. Oh no. Alright, wait, is this the end of the shift A? Or do we have shift B coming? Uh oh, is this overtime? Vandalism. Escaped again. You're gonna get fired. Both of y'all. In the day. Looks like tomorrow's going to be a long day. More like the first of a lot of long days. There's too much going on. Alright. Alright. Looks like that's the end of that day. Do we have shift B? B shift? Nope. Alright, thank you YouTube, YouTubers for watching my video. I'm going to call it a day. We'll start day six tomorrow. Thank you and have a great day until next time.